Ah, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode. No better way to start it than, of course, uh, peeing on the place where we're supposed to clean ourselves. Quite ironic, don't you think? But welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink a ton of water. Hopefully I don't have to pee again. Oh, we might have to pee. All right, round two. Listen, you gotta stay hydrated. But, as I continue peeing on the place where I clean myself, I hope you guys are having nothing but the most favorite fantastic day in the world. Check this out. So I actually missed this. This art came out a couple days ago, but as you can see here, it's got some pretty interesting stuff going on that I want to talk about. So this was posted on all the last day on Earth social media, and as you can see here, one of our art it says one of our artists has prepared this fantastic art, just a drawing, no hints, and then it's got that emoji that's got me feeling like, okay, I think it's a hint. I want to hear what you guys have to think. What we can see here is like a giant zombie buffalo? like a zombie bison or something with a base in the background so i don't know and here's the thing also this is one of last day on earth's official artists so it would make sense that an artist for last day on earth because they get paid to do art why would they be paid to do art totally unrelating to the game i think that they're legitimately thinking about doing like some zombie bison slash zombie buffalo I want to hear what you guys have to say about this topic. So let me know in the comment section what you think about the zombie bison, zombie buffalo. If you think it'll be incorporated. Maybe it'll be like an animal like the gray wolf or something that attacks you. But, well, instead, you know, you'll get you'll get to have a little bit more fun with that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drive. I'll have the extra weapons there in case need be. Maybe there'll be some place we could go to. Maybe there'll be a rest stop. Maybe a chopper pit stop. I'd love to try my luck there. Potentially get a little bit more loot. I doubt it, though. Yeah, I ain't feeling lucky. All right, well, why don't we start off? You know what? Actually, no, let's stay here. Because this has to do with what I was going to say with the zombie bison. Think about it. You know what they might do? What if they add in a new biome? Like a plains biome, you know? I don't know. That's these. It's got, it's got, it, it's had me thinking, and I really wanted to share it with you guys, especially because it came out a little while ago. But yeah, like I was saying, I don't know. I feel like with the zombie bison, it seems like something that might end up being like, I feel like a bison has to live in the plains, and there's not really plains, you know? There's like pine bushes and stuff, like maybe there, but listen, all I know is that in my mind, I'm thinking with this thing, okay. If they drew up art for it and they dropped that really, okay, you know what it was? The art thing was like, okay, I could have maybe let that slide. But that, that emoji at the end, man, that winky face, I am convinced. But at the end of the day, what I say does not go. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear and spur some discussion what you think of this. Do you really think it might just be art? Do you think they might incorporate it? If you do think they'll incorporate it, how do you think they'll incorporate it? I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. And before we start hopping into some stuff, or I mean, as we're hopping into some stuff, I also, it's Saturday, ain't it? Oh yeah, it's Saturday. And that means huge congratulations to the winner of last week's weekly giveaway. Congratulations, Attack of the Titan, Minecraft, and more, who said just need one more red ticket after a bunker run. Feels bad, man. <laughs> well, hopefully this $25 gift card is going to be able to help you out a little bit more than that extra red ticket would have. You have been contacted. Check your YouTube inbox. Link to your inbox will be in the comment section. It'll be my pinned comment, and also it'll be in the description. Make sure you click on that thing, and the winner is coming from the Snorkel Mask video. So, in case you guys were wondering, like I said, how it works... Just it's for clarification and to be clear, I don't want to mislead anybody. What happens is every Saturday to Friday, I will pick a random comment. Or I'll pick a random video of Last Day on Earth. From there, I will pick a random comment. And if that random comment successfully entered the giveaway, oh god, hey hello Grey Wolf, I will deal with you. Ah! Oh no, I got spat on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, betrayal though. Savage patch kids right here. But yeah, I'll pick a random Last Day on Earth video from the past Saturday to Friday. And then on the Saturday after that Friday, I will announce the winners of said giveaway. And all you gotta do is, like I said, it'll be a random comment that I pick. Then I just make sure that he was subscribed, he, she was subscribed, and also that a like was left on the video. And boom shakalaka, you've been entered. But that also leaves today. Oh, the bloater's close, dude. I don't get why they've been overhyping the bloater so much lately. At least my dude in game has been. See ya with your head. Can't wait to get this. You better off dead. Ooh, the rhymes are coming out now. But uh, yeah, hello. I'll take some of that too. 
But yeah, definitely do that. And if you are leaving a comment letting me know what you think about the zombie bison slash buffalo already, you're like halfway there towards being entered into next week's giveaway. And today's the first day of that giveaway. So you got the entire next week to enter of Last Day on Earth videos as well. All you gotta do is check out each one and enter in each one. And hello, dude, that dude was a, that dude had the brand spanking new iPhone X. Would you look at that? Well, now I got the iPhone X with the, with the cracked screen, but still, I will take it. I mean, I'm not getting any cell signal out here either, but I'll take it. But yeah, today is also the first day of the next giveaway, in case you guys are wondering. Oh god, that thud when the deers hit the ground, man. It's sad. Today is the first day of the uh, new giveaway for the new week. So for the next, after this, at the next six videos all the way up to Friday, you will be able to enter. And holy hell, that dude looks yoked. Oh no, I want to deal with the gray wolf first. How about that? Ah! There we go. Hopefully I can lure this toxic spitter into spitting on this guy. Look at that. Yeah! Betray him. Get this man. Oh, look at that. The spitter helped me out. I think the spitter... I think this guy hit the spitter. Oh my god. Did his body just have a seizure in midair? Did you guys see that? What the hell are we witnessing? Ooh. All I know is that I kind of want to take some of these home. I'll take those two home. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, spitter, you got anything good? Anything worthwhile? No. You. I'll take those things home as well. But yeah, very excited to dish it out again. If you guys don't know, the giveaway is for a $25 iTunes or Play Store gift card. All possible because of the free crates video. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, definitely check it out. But I do like, a uh, link will be in the description as well. What I love about that though is it shows you guys how to get free stuff in game. And also it allows me to do these giveaways with gift cards. It's a win-win, baby. You cannot go wrong. But, giveaway shenanigans aside, I think I explained enough about that. Hopefully I was clear enough. I, I'm always scared that I'll like never explain something well enough. I like I, I I don't know. I'm just that type of guy who loves to explain things. Like you zombie, I would like to explain to you how a machete works. Here, let me show you right up to your face. Do you understand how it works now? Do you understand? Yeah, I think his face understands pretty freaking well. Now I'm thinking there might. Yeah, there's the last chest. All right, we'll loot this thing. Then we'll head out of here. You know, what? I should have checked originally. We'll check right now. There might actually be a chopper event happening as we speak. So I might try to get this out of the way all lickety split like. Because chopper events usually last for six to seven minutes and usually an event is triggered when uh, when you move to a new place when you use up stamina. So, nah, nothing new here. Well, that's okay. I know I'm leaving a chest behind, but to hell with it. Why don't we go ahead? Hmm. Uh, uh, okay, we'll run to the red place, then we'll run to the green place, then we'll run back home if we don't get anything. We'll drop our stuff off, and from there, we'll head on over to the bunker. Actually, we might just go straight to the bunker. Because what I'm going to do, or at least what I plan on doing, is as we go through the bunker, I'll just, I'll come back for the loot later. That way I could also, like, stack. So, like, right now, if I pick up, let's say, a scrap metal, right? And then, you know, eventually I have to come back to base. Maybe later on there's enough scrap, there's another scrap metal that I then have to pick up in my second run. So it makes sense to collect all the loot all at once. So I think I might actually start doing that. And you can actually, I, I got this little tactic for storing loot as well that I, I would love to show you guys. So stick around. I think so. I think a lot of you guys know it. Oh my god! Cut that dude in half. I think a lot of you guys know it. I don't think it's like super top secret or nothing like that. But nonetheless, I would absolutely love to tell you guys regardless. Oh no! Oh no, we're gonna be all smelly. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Aww. I'd be down getting some rubber parts out of this chest, though. This chest always has the best loot. Oh, someone's in a- Oh my god, this rabid wolf was in a mad dash for me. The machete does just the right amount of damage for him, though, which is nice. Alright, I'm gonna eat up. I'm gonna drink up a little bit. I'll take what I can. I'll take what I can in a tin can. I don't know where the tin can came from. I made it with my own two hands. That's how magical I am. With the tin can. Ooh, those rhymes are next level, aren't they? <laughs> What you got in store for me, baggy bag? Ooh! Those, uh, rubber parts that I was talking all about. Hmm. Well, now that we got the rubber parts, we might be interested. This road sign, hmm. What do we drop for these rubber parts? Holy hell! The big one! Where did you come from? Oh my god! No, go away! Go away! Bad big one! Bad, 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 bad! No, 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 no! What?! Where did our friend just come from? Where the hell? What is hey? Just randomly. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't think we're welcome back in the red zone. Why don't we migrate over to the green one? 
It's a lot friendlier. Hopefully the big one doesn't follow us there. Holy crap, dude. He tore my clothes off. I think he wanted to do more than just kill me. Sweet mama. Literally, just rips my clothes off. Just like, come here. And I'm like, no, I don't want to come here. I don't want to come here. Ah, let me be. Let me be free like a butterfly. Or a butterfree. Isn't that a Pokemon that looks like a butterfly? You know what I'm talking about. A shower makes sense. There'll be time for showers in hell whenever we get there. If we do get there, I don't know. Actually, would there be showers in hell? Like, I feel like that'd be pretty basic, like... You know, that's pretty basic, like, human standard stuff. Like, if hell doesn't provide showers, that could be an issue. I don't know. You know? I mean, think about it. You know, there could be some real, like... Like, some real basic right violation going on there. You know, I feel like the right to a shower is a pretty... Pretty basic right. But I don't know. What, what do I know about, uh, rights in hell, right? Ha, huh, get it? Rights in hell, right? <laughs> yeah. I never said I was good at telling jokes. Doesn't stop me from telling them, though! Or from slashing all these zombies in the face. Dude, I forgot how easy green zones are. Everyone's just a Roman zombie. You don't even have to deal with the toxic spitters. We get to see those front flips up close and personal, though. Yeah. Oh, no. There's also the rabid wolf. The occasional rabid wolf. Who does give us a little bit of stuff. I'm always down for stuff. I'm a big fan of stuff. How about you guys? Do you like stuff? But yeah, I can't wait to go to the bunker and start taking things out over there. I can't wait to see what happens out of that bison, though. I'm actually very excited to see what the deal with that might end up being. Alright, what you got for me, green chest? This is the good one, dude. Give me something... Eh. Okay. I thought I just heard a loud thud. I'm like, are you kidding me? The big one followed us? He ambushed us, man. Isn't that enough? Isn't that enough to wear us down in our sanity? What the hell are those guys on top of? Do you see that? Oh my god. That's an, uh... Interesting... Situation? You know, I'm not one to disturb uh, private affairs, so I'll just let them continue doing whatever they want to keep doing. Uh, I don't judge. I'm not a judgmental guy. All I will say is, uh... What? What did we just witness? I don't... I don't... Don't answer that question. Please don't. I'm scared to hear the answer right now. <laughs> Alright, and with that, unless something pops up here, we're heading over to the bunker. I think that's the game plan, right? Yeah. No events are popping up, dude. This is really weird. What we might end up doing, we'll run to the bunker here. As soon as we hop in, we'll step out for a sec. That, that's a nifty trick I like doing all the time, too, is uh, stepping out for a quick second after you make it somewhere. Because then you can see if any new events have happened. Because the events happen as soon as, like, you enter, I'm pretty sure. At least from my experience, that's what it's like. And I can also show you guys this nifty little bunker trick. I don't think I've- I've been using it for a little while, but I never- I don't think I've actually ever mentioned it on video. So I did want to get that on video and hopefully show you guys the good good. But we're gonna hop on into here. Are we still rolling in on the chopper? We should be, right? Yeah! Da 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 da! Speaking of chopper, we've been stockpiling a good amount of paint lately, haven't we? Ooh. I think that means we might be able to paint our chopper pretty soon. Because I think I have like 15 red paint. I got like 30 blue paint. Like all the other paints are definitely a little bit on the lower side. But all of those paints, I have a pretty good amount of. So honestly, hey, look at that. Okay, we might head on over to the airdrop, honestly. See if maybe it has some good stuff. Because a lot of our stuff here is kind of broken down. I'm down with, uh, I'm down with running over there real quick. And then we'll go to the bunker. Listen, if there's an event going on. I'm not one to miss out on events. Okay, I like to capitalize. And if I can't capitalize, I will become sad. So will my eyes. My eyes will become very sad and teary-eyed. Maybe after this we'll stop by home to drop a couple things off. Or, not really. We don't need inventory room, man. Except for the occasional weapon restock. A lot of our weapons are about to break now that I think about it. So hopefully we get another weapon out of here. Especially because we're getting stinky. Oh, that reminds me. If we're stinky... You know what? I take that as a challenge. I'll go through the bunker, Stinky. I like a good challenge every once in a while. I'm so sad that the update isn't out yet, man. I was really hoping it'd be out already, but it's already Saturday and it hasn't happened. It's, it has left me a sad panda. I'm gonna punch him to death. Eat fist! Oh, he just flopped back. Like he's ready to be buried. Like, oh, I have died by the fist of a star. I will now succumb to my wounds. Bleh. Just like over-exaggerated dramatic death. <laughs> what you got for me, Mr. Crate? Okay. We got a new machete. Well, 
We don't have a machete in our inventory, so I'll take that. Uh, you know what? I do want to pick this up, especially because of the shenanigans that went on last time where we kind of lost that rubber part because we were in too much of a rush by the big one ambushing us. Out of nowhere. The wrench is really important. We need a, we need as many of those. No, no, no. Don't put that away. We need as many of those as possible because of uh, what is to come. Those are going to be really good for the workbench. And from there, I'll take these Not things. Good. Ow! <laughs> Stupid wolf. There we go. I'd say that was pretty successful, though. Let's see if maybe a new event has happened. If it hasn't, no biggie. We'll go back to the bunker. I'll show you guys the trick. And we'll start marking some, uh, not big ones, but some frenzied giants. Because we do have a couple extra to mark. We're, uh, we should almost entirely be done with floor three. So we might be able to even finish floor three today, which would be pretty handy. I think so. I think we got just enough time to do it. We'll be making good time then, lads. Nah. Oh. All these crafting recipes. For real. That gunsmith bench. I can't wait to make that a thing. Because I have so many weapons I'm just waiting to scrap down. And they're taking up a lot of my room. I also can't wait for steel to become a thing. Because I do want to turn the Glock... Or I do want to actually be able to craft some guns, and that'd be really awesome. Oh, the Glock is the only gun you're really going to be able to craft until Titan becomes a thing. Which probably won't be a thing for the while. Horse update, man! Seriously, they already got the items in-game, and they're already craftable. Horse update has to be common. There's no other explanation, but okay. Here's what I was talking about. As soon as we roll in, like, oh, like... There we go. As soon as we roll in... What you guys can actually see going on here, check this out, check this out. This is a nifty trick I've been using for a while. Now, as a heads up, I don't know if this might eventually screw me, come back to bite me, something like that. But these lockers, after you loot them, I've been looting Bunker Alpha for a long time. Even while Bunker Alpha has been being updated, these lockers have not once respawned. So you know what you can do and you know what I've been doing is I've been storing some of my valuables in here, including... Just like in between bunker runs. I've been storing some of the good stuff here. And so far it's been treating me well. Because that means we can just store super easily a ton of the stuff we have here. And that way instead of wasting stamina running back and forth between the um, between the bunker and the your, your home base. You can just store them there. And then when the bunker resets, you know, you don't have to worry about, oh no, my items are going to despawn. You know, that you haven't looted yet or something. So that's what I really like to do. Speaking of that, I think I still have to take these topside and stuff. Yeah, I haven't brought a lot of those out. So we still got quite a few guns to cash in on. Which makes me really freaking happy, dude. That fully modded AK, that thing is insane. And another gas mask. Yeah, no way in hell I'm letting this despawn on me. That would be a crime against uh, zombie humanity. Or humanity during the zombie times. It'd be a crime against something. I don't know against what. But I know that that would be a very, very bad crime in my eyes. Now... Floor 3, are you ready to be taken on Storm by Star? Star Storm. That sounds like a Transformer. I'm Star Storm, yeah. We're almost near the end, so we just gotta run through here. I finally killed that Frenzy Giant who likes to creep through the window. God knows what that man's doing all the time. We still got a ton of these to look through in terms of loot. I'll make sure to do that in one of my personal runs. Or no, I think I've looked through them. What I meant is uh, actually picking up the good stuff. I will do that through my personal time. Because last time we were in a bit of a rush because I literally only cared about one thing and one thing only. And that was red tickets. So as you can see, I've left quite the trail in my wake. And I feel proud of it. Oh, look at that. This dude dropped something. What did you drop, my man? A yellow ticket. I wish I could pick that up. I'll pick that up at a later time. No worries. I'm just more interested in kind of killing you guys right now. Oh, I never looted this chest either. Yo, this chest usually has some solid loot. Last day. Don't disappoint me, baby. Don't disappoint me. Eh. We could take a couple ball bearings. We still got some stuff. I'll come back for it. A lot of orange tickets, though, which is going to be good. We might be able to open up uh, orange, the orange chest right away at the beginning of next episode. Or, like, during next episode without having to, like, go in, like, throughout any of this. This is pretty good. I have a lot of expensive watches. Although I don't think they literally do anything anymore. I still have a lot. I might honestly avoid... That room over here. I think we could sneak through it if we want to, but honestly, at this point, now that there isn't a glitch to, you know, take out everyone inside, I'm not even going to bother with that room. That room is a certified death trap. I'd rather go to the other rooms who are slightly less certified death traps. You know, that room has like the A-plus certification. 
room at the end's got like a B plus certification. So it's slightly less certified. Still certified, but you know, not as certified. So it's not as sketchy. All right. What is this? There's a toxic spitter here? Is this... Oh, this is our friend, the toxic abomination. All right, abomination, bro. How do you do, buddy? Oh, no. That's what I hate. I, oh, I tapped auto because I thought he would do the first hit as a sneak attack anyway. He did not. Unfortunately, he did not. Oh, he's got a red ticket, though. Okay, I might... Uh, I don't know what I might do. I'll come back for that in a little bit here. Or Actually, I'm going to equip the katana. And I'm going to use up the rest of this katana. That's a good idea. Now over here, there should be a Toxic Abomination. Is the other guy over here a Toxic Abomination? I'm pretty sure it is. I've gone through his bunkers so many times, I've like really learned everything there is to know about this. So you, buddy. Look at that, his friend didn't even notice. His body's flopping up in his peripheral version. He's just like, hey, keep it down over there, Thomas. Thomas was the name of that spitter, by the way. Keep it down, Thomas. What you doing over there? Not Thomas is like, I ain't doing nothing. There we go. Let's use that machete on him. Finish the job. Finish the trick. And look at that. With the katana cleared up, we can start collecting the red coupons. And this is really nice because we're finally going to have a little bit of a red coupon stockpile as we head into the next place. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god, I almost died from that. Oh god, that's bad. Ow, ow. I'm just trying to find, like, the sweet spot here. Okay, this might be the sweet spot. And what I can do from there is actually aim at the toxic giant. Use up the rest of our ranged weapons here. Perfect. And why don't we finish him off with the pistol? Can we do that? Now nah, the pistol's not in range. Well, damn. All right, we'll go ahead and open the door. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna finish you off. I think I know how we want to finish him off. We haven't yet had our daily dose of shotgun rain. Ah! Eat the rain of the shotgun variety. Oh, he ate it all right. He ate already up to three red tickets. Not too bad. Ah, we didn't get electrocuted. That's a first. I think we can go into this next room right next to us too. We should be safe going into it. Don't quote me on that, but I do feel pretty confident about it. There are going to be a couple of douche nozzles trying to kill us though. So let's try to kill the douche nozzles first. Uh, I think they're definitely going to notice us. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to notice regardless of what happens. I'm just going to try to take out the toxic spitters first. So there's less people attacking me. You always want as little people attacking you as possible. Prioritize the weaker guys, man. It's always a good strategy. And hopefully I can take out this. Yeah, we got plenty of durability left on the machete. I thought maybe we didn't. And I think there's one good chest. Yeah, we got a good chest up here. So if you guys are all like, in case you guys wonder how I know which chest is good. Like the this chest with that green like and the design on it. I don't know how to describe it. But this chest with the design on it, why am I so stinky? Come on, man. Oh, no. That means the Frenzy Giant's gonna, like, catch whiff of us, like, right away. Eh, to hell with it. Terminal activation required. Well, uh, for when he does catch whiff of us, hopefully we're ready to run like hell. Because I think they might aggro us, like, right away, dude. You guys underestimate just how smelly I am right now. Like, these guys are gonna be able to smell me from a mile away. Hello, Abomination. Hey, buddy. Come on. Just you aggro me right now. Yeah, there we go. Nice! So 1v1. I'll take that. Yeah, it feels like the smelliness doesn't affect you as much under in the bunker. Would you guys agree with that? I don't know. I just always feel like I'm able to get away with more than I usually am, you know? All right. Eat some shotgun, giant. Eat it in your face or your belly. Wherever you want to eat it with. Oh, my God. He went from a potato to a potato in 20 different parts. That is the best type of potato. I approve of this potato. We got a couple more chests to get through. We could use the gas mask. Ooh, do we want to use the gas mask, though? I was going to say, we could get into that last room if we really want to. We got a gun here. I will cop this thing for now. I'll put away the wires. We got plenty of those back up base. Just kind of... And I got to come back for those wires anyway. Uh, those pants are still a lot worse than ours. It's okay. We still got quite a few zombos to deal with it. Hello, zombos. Come here, buddies. Come here. I'm not going to be able to... I'm not even going to try to sneak on these guys. Because I don't think it's going to work. I just got to be ready to heal like a madman. Because they're going to be getting a lot of hits in on me. Oh my god. I don't like this. I'm feeling hands from every direction. It's a very strange sensation. Please, someone help me. <laughs> stranger danger. Stranger danger. Okay, the strangers have been killed. That's what you do. Just kidding. I don't think you should be killing random strangers. Don't do that. Star Snipe does not approve of that message. Unless the stranger is secretly a zombie. In which case, maybe Star Snipe approves of that message. 
But for the most part, nah. Now what the- I never actually realized, what the hell is this over here? Danger? There's like something being pulled out. Is this like the acid bath? I think that's the experimental- that's the experimental version of the acid bath. I mean, it makes sense, this is where we l learned the blueprint, but still. This is totally different from the one that looks like we're crafting up in our base, but alright. Let's open up this last chest, and then officially... The parts of floor 3 that we care about will be cleared. Now, I say the parts of floor 3 that we care about because as you guys may or may not know, there is that one nifty little parts that Papa Star wants nothing to do with. What the hell? Why those band-aids? Did we run out of band-aids? Oh my god, that could have been bad. Yeah, there's that one part that I just don't want to deal with. Uh, the one with 20 people. I'm gonna be a hard pass on that. Yeah, that room is a freaking death trap. I'm gonna go away from there. I don't want to deal with that room. Let's head on back up topside. My dude's starting to complain about hunger and like, oh, you know, these working conditions, they're not right. Look at me, look at how hungry I'm going. Look at me, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. I'm just like, shut up, dude. Listen, I feed you. I am the finger or the thumb that feeds you. Okay, my two thumbs are your existence. You're just lines of code in the machine. Yeah, yeah, if he heard me, he would have like a shocking revelation. Like, what the hell? What the hell with it, though? Why don't we put one of these gas masks to use, eh? Although, to do this, I am suggesting that we probably put away, like, everything else. Just so we have absolutely as much room as possible for what's about to come. Because, uh, a lot of things are about to come. Potentially, I don't know. All I know is I want to maximize whatever I'm able to get out of this. I get it, dude. You're hungry. Okay, fine. You want some beans? Do you want some beans? Here. Here. Eat beans. Oh, no. I'm out of beans. Uh... Uh, no, I'm not. I just- I, I went to the Costco version of beans. Instead of getting three beans, we got 20 of the buggers. I'll take that. Still not helping the smell. Honestly, I feel like the beans might be contributing to the smell. <laughs> oh, get it? Get it? Cause it it's, it's a fart joke? Oh, 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 I made a funny. I made a funny! Ah, uh, no I didn't. Well, I don't know. If you laughed, hey, high five to you. I wish I could high five you through the game, but that ain't happening right now. And the grand finale of today's episode. I just tried putting my gas mask in my hand. Let's equip this thing here. Let's be ready to go. Oh, oh, that's just all their bodies that we can loot. This makes looting their bodies a lot easier. I love that their dead bodies teleport if they have loot. They teleport to where they were, but... Wish me luck. We gotta be able to do this quick. Also, this is a nifty little spot. If you have a bow, you can actually shoot the frenzy giant from here. I found that out recently and I was like, what? No way. Alright, we gotta be ready to run like a madman because I don't want the durability of this thing going down. And I don't want to die! Open up, open up, let's go. Loot these things right away. How's the durability looking? Uh, we're making pretty good time. I think, I think we should be able to get out of here pretty well. Do these lockers have good loot now? Okay, rubber parts, I'll take that. I just don't know if these lockers are worth the gas mask, you know? Like, it's currently the only reason to use the gas mask, but still, you don't get a lot of good stuff out of it. You just get kind of like generic crap that you would get out of anything else. There we go, we used up about half of it. It sucks, but maybe when the repair bench becomes a thing, eh? Eh? Maybe we'll be able to repair our gas masks. That'd be pretty useful. But other than that, so that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys so much for joining me as we cleared floor three. We'll probably go ahead and clear floor two in the next episode uh, as some kind of side content. But hopefully we do have something better to talk about. Like today we have the zombie bison to talk about. And I really am so looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. And I'm so looking forward to dishing out to be in the Oprah of $25 Google Play and iTunes store gift cards. <laughs> Uh, you get a gift card. You get a gift card. Everybody has a gift card. But yeah, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it for me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. That was a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.